Prince Michael of Kent is returned a Russian honor bestowed upon him as the county's invasion of Ukraine continues to escalate, according to a new report. The prince, who is Queen Elizabeth II's cousin, received the Order of Friendship back in November 2009 from former Russian President Dmitry Medvedev. According to the prince's official website, the Order of Friendship is one of the highest orders in Russia. It was given to him for his work on Anglo-Russo relations. I can confirm that HRH Prince Michael of Kent is returning his Russian Order of Friendship, a spokesperson for the prince said, according to the Daily Express via People magazine. Prince Michael of Kent, 79, is related through his grandmother to Tsar Nicholas II and has always had a strong emotional attachment to Russia, his website states. He first visited the country in 1992 following the collapse of communism. In 2021, Prince Michael became the subject of an investigative report that found him essentially selling his royal status for personal profit to those seeking access to Russian President Vladimir Putin. The undercover investigation was conducted by the Sunday Times and Channel 4. Reporters for the outlets posed as investors of a fake South Korean gold company seeking contacts in the Kremlin to further its business in Russia. Prince Michael allegedly told the reporters by Zoom that he would give their company his royal endorsement in a recorded speech for a $200,000 fee. He added that he was happy to use his home in Kensington Palace as a backdrop for the endorsement. The royal's business partner, Simon Redding, also reportedly told the fake investors that Michael could be hired for £10,000 a day to make confidential representations on behalf of the fictitious gold firm, House of Haidong, to Putin. If he, Prince Michael, is representing the House of Haidong, he could mention that to Putin and Putin would find the right person who is interested in South Korea or interested in gold, Redding reportedly said. It just opens the door, you know, which is so helpful. He went on to describe Michael as Her Majesty's unofficial ambassador to Russia, and that tension between the U. K. and Russia has not affected his relationship with Putin. Responding to the report, Michael's office said he has no special relationship with President Putin and that the two men last met in 2003. The royal earns his own living through a consultancy company that he has run for over 40 years. Lord Redding is a good friend, who in trying to help, made suggestions which Prince Michael would not have wanted, or been able, to fulfill, his office said. Other royals have been reacting to the Russia-Ukraine conflict with messages of support to Ukraine over the last week. Christina Oxenberg told Fox News Digital she was stunned to watch the war unfold. My initial reaction was one of shock, the author told us. I am deeply moved by the courage of the people of Ukraine. Oxenberg is the daughter of Princess Elizabeth of Yugoslavia, a descendant of the Russian royal house of Romanov. She is also a second cousin to members of the British royal family and sister of dynasty actress Catherine Oxenberg. She has previously detailed her upbringing in a serialized memoir on Patreon. Oxenberg said that the ongoing conflict has unveiled numerous moments of heroism, which should be commended. The Ukrainians are handling themselves with extraordinary courage, she said. And, Zelensky has risen to the challenge of the job and is every bit a hero and a leader. Oxenberg had two messages for both sides. For Ukrainians, never give up, she said. For Putin, give up. Meanwhile, members of the British royal family have condemned Russia's invasion of Ukraine. On Tuesday, Prince Charles expressed his solidarity with Ukraine during a speech commemorating British lawmaker David Arness, who was murdered in October 2021. What we saw in the terrible tragedy in Southend was an attack on democracy, on an open society, on freedom itself, said the heir to the British throne.
We are seeing those same values under attack today in Ukraine in the most unconscionable way. In the stand we take here, we are in solidarity with all those who are resisting brutal aggression. Charles's youngest son, Prince Harry, and his wife, Meghan Markle, issued a statement on Feb. 24. Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and all of us at Archwell stand with the people of Ukraine against this breach of international and humanitarian law and encourage the global community and its leaders to do the same, a statement posted to their Archwell Foundation website read. Soon after, Prince William and his wife, Kate Middleton, shared a similar sentiment with their own statement released on Feb. 26 via social media. In October 2020 we had the privilege to meet President Zelensky and the First Lady to learn of their hope and optimism for Ukraine's future, the statement from the couple began. Today we stand with the President and all of Ukraine's people as they bravely fight for that future, their statement continued, adding an emoji of Ukraine's flag. Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky took to Twitter and thanked the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge for their solidarity. My wife Olena and I are grateful to the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge at Royal Family that at this crucial time, when Ukraine is courageously opposing Russia's invasion, they stand by our country and support our brave citizens. Good will triumph, the 44-year-old tweeted. Representatives for Prince Michael did not immediately return Fox News' request for comment.